Hello friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I am back with another um, video sharing ideas, um, junk journal page ideas. So if you're crafting with me, you can get out your journal and we're going to have some fun today. So this one is about ways to use envelopes. So I'm going to show you some different ways to use envelopes in your pages um, and then how you can decorate them and make them look super awesome. So I'm going to use envelopes just that I have like left over from different things. Um, you can, if you want to use some that have already gone through the mail and then, you know, just cover them and things um, to recycle. But I just have these in some of my craft stash. So I pulled them out. They're all different sizes and shapes. Um, different ones kind of probably work maybe a little better um, than others, you know, depending on, on what we're doing. But Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to do um, one of the first ones that is really easy, but I kind of like the way it looks on a page, is when you take um, an envelope, and this one, just for reference sake, is like seven and a quarter, which is almost 18 and a half centimeters, seven and a quarter inches by five and a half and almost 13 and a half centimeters. So... Um, I don't even know where this came from. It's really old, but I'm going to leave it open like this. You know, don't, don't glue it together or anything, but just fold it in half. All right. So, and pick a page of your journal you want to work in today. And, um, we are going to just add this envelope, um, to this page. And I'm gonna pick a page that doesn't have a pretty flower that I'll be covering up there. I'm gonna put it on here. And I'm literally just gonna glue it down and then you're gonna have um, this space to, to add things in. Now, you can change this up if you want to. We could glue just half of it down and have half open like this. Why don't we do that? That'll be fun. Um, and in fact, we'll go ahead and only glue it on three sides so we get a tuck spot. So let me show you, we're gonna get pockets, we're gonna get tuck spots, and we're gonna get some fun journaling spaces. So add your glue to these three sides. You can do it you know, either side you want. And then just go right up to your spine. Um, you know what, and I should have glued, glued this section down to you. So this section, let's just add all glue. Um, and that way, now when you go to flip, it's almost like having a little extra page, you know, in your journal, isn't that fun? Now, if you wanna decorate or ink or something before you glue it down, you know, absolutely have at it. Um, my envelope is not really glued together well, so I'm gonna add a little glue to reinforce it. Don't glue it closed, because I do want that pocket open. And then the fun part is just we can um, decorate decorate it so that it looks great. Um, I'm just, I am trying to use up just scraps I have laying on my desk. Now this is another idea, let's do this. Look at me, I just like, I didn't really prep this video, I'm kind of freestyling this one. That's why I'm not showing you ahead of time exactly what we're making. And I know several of you have commented and told me you, you like that style um, with my tutorials, is that I show you ahead of time what we're making, and I do that, you know, 99% of the time. But sometimes I just wanna show you how you can use common everyday things you have on hand and together we'll just make it look great. So I'm going to add another little tuck spot here. So when we're done with this lovely fella, we're going to have all kinds of interactive elements and things um, to do. So I'm taking, you know, a really basic, simple idea and elevating it, hopefully. Hopefully, right? Um, let me reach behind me and just grab a handful of scraps and see what we come up with. I didn't grab a very big handful. Okay, 
but I definitely need some more color and something going on. Um, let's see what we can do with this strip of paper here. It would tear better, obviously, if I put it on a flat surface. All right. Um, on this side, what I'm thinking is for now I'll leave it, but I think it would be really pretty to, um, in fact, we'll put a little, just a little embellishment, not much, but to give us the, the idea later when we're coming back and looking about how you can kind of get this one dressed up some. So this, to me, when I see a little topper like this, to me that that just kind of tells me this is going to be some great journaling space. And if you don't want to see that part of the envelope white, you know, add, you know, add some book page, um, add some other paper that you have. So I'm just kind of tearing and we're going to, upside down. There we go. We're going to get it a little bit at the angle that we need. Right there. All right. And I'm just going to patch it together. I promise it's going to look kind of interesting when I'm done. And we don't want it bigger than the envelope because this is our flippy part. I'll save all those little strips. This was a really vintagey book. The paper, I love the color, but it's it's almost soft. If you guys know what I mean, like it feels almost um, like a different texture than regular paper. All right, so I hope you're gonna get some good ideas today and want to add these to your journal. Um, I think I have maybe five, maybe more. We'll see about five ideas to share today. All right. So now on this part, we've got now, of course, whatever you put in here, you've got to think about it. It's going to be on the flip. So you don't want things right there in the middle. We could have glued that shut, but you know, I'm okay with just having something on either side. Let's see. I have something like this, I would not put this wide card in there because it would have to fold in half. That's what I was trying to express. <laughs> I didn't say it the best. Here, let's just chop a strip of these off because I wanted something taller to give you guys the idea of what I was going for. And see, you can have like big tall things in here and then you can also, of course, have the shorter pieces as well. I didn't do the best job at getting scraps out to work with, so we'll probably have to reach behind me and get something else out in a minute. Okay, and then I have this pocket, which of course we can keep decorating. And let me see what else I can come up with. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappies. I have a great big, huge bin behind me where I just kind of put things that I haven't gotten to yet to use or leftover scraps. And um, it, it is fun to work with that. But All right, so this is just some vintage map. And I think what I'm going to do, I was going to, layer some on there but see this is the other thing I like to do in my journals is sometimes I like to put what I consider like supplies so then for whoever has the journal there's things in here that they can use to keep decorating with all right and again just to give us the reminder of the idea is I plan to collage or decorate or really dress this up okay so I'm gonna stop there, but that's one of our ideas for today. And um, I'm gonna put, uh, using a plain or recycled envelope. So that when you come back and 
look at this page, you're like, okay, what, what was I trying to tell myself I'm doing here? All right, now on this page, we are gonna put another envelope idea. And you guys, don't laugh at me. I had written down on a scrap piece of paper to remind myself um, about my ideas and it got lost in my pile of scraps, but I found it, so we're good. Okay, let's use one of these yellow ones. This one isn't very thick, but I think it's gonna be fun. So this one, again, is that idea of let's just do an around the page flip, okay? And instead of just doing it out of regular paper. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the whole flap down, make it nice and sturdy. Like I said, this envelope is made, it feels like it's made out of paper that's almost like copy weight or even lighter kind of paper. It's kind of interesting. Again, very old envelope. Okay, but then what's going to help us sturdy it up is, let's find, you know, these are like some coin envelopes that I downloaded at some point and printed. I am a member of the graphicsfairy.com website. I don't know if you guys are. They have fun, fun, fun um, images and printables and all kinds of stuff, tutorials, all kinds of things you can use. And I love their patterns but I'm gonna just use a portion of this to um, decorate this envelope and I'm cutting I'm gonna cut each of them apart and you'll see what I'm gonna do now you could just do this with any paper that you have but what inspired me when I saw this sitting here not having ever used it was um, that we can make little pockets so I'm just using one of my circle punches. This one's a little bit larger than the notches they had, but it works. Just notch it out. Okay. And then, so if you're just using paper, you know, just cut yourself some papers that will fit on your pocket. And these can be side loads. We can also do it this way, which I think will make sense because if we open it, then things don't fall out. So let's add these. Pam, it's an idea book. You do not have to ink everything. Okay, I'll only ink this one. All right, I'm gonna put the this one on the bottom because it just seems a little heavier. And we'll install this one here. And we're gonna install them like pockets. So glue on three sides. So this is doing a couple of things. It's adding some more tuck spots for us, which you know me. I think you can never have too many pockets. Even if you don't put anything in it initially, you know, it's there. Um, and it's fun and you'll be able to and then I'm gonna put this one so now we have these two tuck spots but it also kind of helped sturdy up our um, thinner envelope that we had now I can also decorate this side I think I'm gonna add this one just to this panel and do it the other orientation so now this one will be a top load and of course, if I'm careful and do thin beads of glue, it's still gonna be something skinny that goes in there, but that's great. So let's just take a piece of paper, because again, this is my idea book, and we'll put something skinny in there. And let me find another just scrap of something. Um, that paper. I like the green with the yellow. We've got another skinny. And then I have some of these journaling cards. Let's see. This one I think is going to be too wide. Let's see about this one. Looky there. How cute. Now, depending on what we put in here, that can also help a little bit, you know. Um, and I'm thinking what might be nice in there is a larger sheet. Um a larger sheet. So I was doing some painting in an art journal yesterday and I usually save these because look at how pretty um, that is and I could tear that and add it to a tag or add it somewhere at some point. So I'm just gonna fold this paper up and put it in my idea journal for later. So a larger sheet, which is also going to make this feel a little bit thicker and a little more sturdy. Okay. 
Now on this side, we obviously have this strip and then of course you can, we can actually put another idea on this side if we want to. Um, I'm probably not gonna glue this one down. Let me just show you the, the most basic of, of envelope ideas. That would be adding your envelope just like this, any shape envelope that'll fit on your page, leaving it open at the top or the side. Okay, and then leaving the flap where you can then use this inside and then you could decorate it. So that would might be cute here. I'm not gonna use my envelope there because that's one I don't, I think is pretty intuitive for us. If you wanna glue an envelope down in your idea journal though to help you remember, please do so, please do. Okay. Um, now we are, the, another way, and it's the same idea as this, but instead of doing it on the side, it's a bottom flip. So I'm going to install this one on this page, but we are gonna glue this panel down. And again, I could leave it open if I wanted to make a little talk text spot here, but I'm not gonna do that right now. If you wanna do that, just add glue to these two sides and along um, the crease of the envelope. And now, look, I got a flip down. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and um, I'm going to just kind of remind myself side or actually it could be top or bottom side or top slash bottom flips. So Obviously, if we want to do a top one, we would install it here, right? That would be fun, right? You have one here, and you have to put them all on the same page, but I'm just kind of showing you as far as um, your idea book. So for this one, again, I think I would like to add, of course, add, right? Ooh. I think this is look at that I did not plan that y'all um this was just sitting in where I started making some collages and some different things at one point and then never finished this one but we're going to use it in our idea book to make our idea book look cute I'm going to install this piece of paper on this envelope and leave the side open because I don't want to leave the top open because when I flip it down everything might might fall out um but on the side, I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna hold it by the side I don't want to glue down. Isn't this paper pretty? I need to remember what paper this is. So I have no idea. So if you ask me, I'm so sorry. I have no idea. All right. And I hope you're also getting the idea you could really use any shapes of the envelopes that you have. If you wanted to, you could put a notch here to help you remember that this is a fabulous tuck spot. I'm gonna use a piece of my off-cut vintage map. I'm gonna put it right in there, and I want it a little bit shorter. I wanna see it, but I don't want it hanging out too much. Go that way. Okay. All right, and then it opens up this way. And of course, we could decorate here. This would be a fun place to just put some, maybe almost like hidden journaling, and then you have a pocket. So let's do that same idea. This is a nice kind of, you know, off-white, white paper. Let's um, take the scrap, and we'll just put, you know, a little decoration at the top. This is, of course, completely optional. I'm not gonna glue my envelope closed, but it gives you, again, that sense of, um, oh, that's that's what you're doing with this space. You're gonna journal here at some point. Um, I don't know why I have little pieces of paper that say mushrooms. <laughs> that's kind of funny, isn't it? But I'm gonna put it down. All right, cute. And you know what I could do? I could find images of mushrooms. I don't know that I have any right offhand. But wouldn't that be funny? I could put mushrooms inside here. 
Let's just pretend this lovely butterfly tag is a mushroom and I'm gonna stick it in there. Just help me remember. Now, this is one that I think I would like a Velcro dot on because I'm kind of thinking about it as a little bit of a, a hidden spot. And you could also have journaling here so that when you turn to this page, you don't see it unless you open it up intentionally. All right. Now, another fun thing to do. Oh. Um, and guys, all of the supply, are all most of the supplies that I use, if you want ideas of supplies that I use, they're in the description linked to my Amazon storefront. Um, and I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I get a few pennies um, if someone purchases something after clicking on it but it's there to help share ideas so don't don't feel you need to go there or do that but if you want to see like the velcro dots or the type of glue or bottles that I use or whatever um you're welcome to okay so what I was going to say is another fun thing is to put um some kind of tab or something on here so we can I'm going to just use my whale punch but you can make a tab um, or use a scrap of paper, ribbon, you know, just to give the idea that, you know, there, there is something, you know, this is interactive. So go for it if you want to. Pull it down, <laughs> right? Okay. Whoops. So I'm going to glue that down. And I feel like I keep going off camera. Let's turn that just a little bit. Okay. Fun. I like that idea a lot. So we've got one, two, three. They're kind of similar ideas, but side um, or bottom. Okay, let's turn the page and put something here. So this is one where, you know, sometimes you have these long envelopes and also have some that are red. Um, and this one has the security, so it's not as pretty. Um, this one I would probably close up and cut and then use as pockets or something. So maybe we'll do that in a minute, but let's use the red one. And um, I've got a couple of ideas. Um, one is cutting them in half to make, um, make, make some interesting um, around the pocket tucks so or you don't even have to cut it all the way in half um I was just gonna make them kind of narrow let me think of how I want to do this you know what let's do this I'm just gonna trim off the flap and of course I'm not cutting very straight because I'm trying to go quickly Ooh. you could lay this on your trimmer um and make it look a little neater than I am I could have also used my ruler I could have torn it, right? All right, so when I was thinking about cutting them in half, it, it was like in an idea to make like a stacked option of pockets. Um, and then I'd also thought about cutting them in half this way and just are, you know, cutting a portion off. All right, let me do one idea at a time. I've got all kinds of ideas I want to tell you guys about this. All right, I am just folding this to get myself an idea of where I want to cut it. You could have la just laid it on your trimmer and cut a slice off. I'll tell you what size we're ending up with in just a minute. So imagine too, just using your ones that have already gone through the mail, your junk mail envelopes, and you would have some really nice um, pockets, right? Okay, so this is more of that you know, business or letter size envelope. Let's see, this one's nine and a half, and now where I trimmed it, it's three. So nine and a half by three. So we can again wrap it around, glue it down, and we have pockets on both sides. Um, so that is definitely one idea. The other idea is to cut it in a half here, and then we have two, two stacked pockets, and that's what I'm gonna do, um, because we already have one wrapped around. Um, but if you wanna add all of the ideas so you kinda don't forget, you know, go ahead. That's what the idea book is for. And I, I may do that too, because I tend to forget. All I'm doing now is gluing these two together. Um, once we cut it in half, of course, 
it was open. So now we have just two pockets. I mean, see how easy that is? And it's so fun um, to use. Now again, install these however you want. Um, we could do, or I just glued it together, but you know, we could do a little thumb notch like that. That would be kind of cute. Um, whoops, I didn't let the glue, I didn't let the glue grab before I started pulling on it, but it's gonna be okay. All right, and we could stack them. Um, ooh, here's an idea. If you want to, whoa, it would help if you did it before you glued it, cut at an angle towards one of the corners. And now you have one that's like a slanted load um, pocket. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna, all I did was I cut about two inches in. And again, this one is four and three quarter inches wide this way. I went about two inches in and I cut down towards the corner at an angle. And I didn't do it perfectly, but it worked out fine. I'm gonna glue this flap back. And we're gonna install the pocket this way. And now we can kind of, you know, get a peek, a peek at what's in there. Oh, I'm gonna need to uh, add some more glue to this little bottle. So glue to three sides, be neater than I am. <laughs> this one we're gonna just install as a standard pocket. And I'm only doing the three sides because then you also get a tuck spot back behind the envelope. But again, that's totally up to you. I'm covering up my flowers a little bit. Because then what you have is you have the pocket here and the pocket back here. Now we have a nice big pocket and the pocket back here. So let me just find a few things. Like, see, won't that look cute in there? Right? Um, and then we've got something here. And if you want, you know, go ahead and put, yeah, it's grabbing on the tag, not on that. You know, you can put a nice tall thing in the back. Just put this one in like this. Okay, cute. I love it. And then of course you can decorate the front of these too. And so, you know, any color envelope, the red is kind of different, so there it is. All right, so these are, where's my pen? My pen is right here. We're gonna say these are um, more ideas. I'm gonna just glue this down to cover that up. Um, more ideas using envelopes. All right. Um, what do we have? We have like um, envelope. with an A, Pam, ideas. So cut in half, and I'm gonna draw an arrow. I'm gonna say, or cut in half and wrap around the page. And so instead of putting it in my idea book, I'm just writing it down because we see the cut in half piece. So this one I actually cut in half and cut in half again. So cut in half and again. <laughs> I think I'll remember what that means with the sample. Okay. Um, and then what else? Oh, okay. So using a long envelope. Let's, um, we'll just, we'll use the white one because I was playing with it earlier. I just did a video on gate folds, right? But look at this. So if you take one of your long, um, long envelopes, this one happens to be nine and a half inches by four. And if you want to, just kind of find the center point, all right? And then fold, fold in to the center point. And we've got a fun gate fold, <laughs> simple gate fold. But then when you open it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to snip right on those fold lines and then make sure everything's folding up and for fun cut 
cut it a little bit better. And again, this one isn't the prettiest envelope because it has the security thing in there. So I'm not sure. I, I guess you could cover it up or make that blue work with your design. I'm not sure that's the one I would use in my journal, but I'm gonna just stick. I just threw that on the floor, y'all. Let me put this one in the bin. Okay, stick those down. This one we're gonna have, and I can decorate, and I can put something over that strip. But now I have a fun gatefold using an envelope. So this one, I am going to again do this way. Um, I should have been holding it like this. Glue on three sides so we get our extra spot up top. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And of course you can decorate this so many different fun ways. We open it up, I'm gonna journal here, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna have a pocket. Now this will also be really cute to, let me show you my idea. We're gonna add yet another little pocket right here. And again, I may cover these all with paper and layer them up really pretty before I get to like adding my pocket that I wanna have at the top layer. Cause I wouldn't leave an envelope just this plain in a real journal, but for my idea journal, it's fine. Um, so now, find something to put in here. Now we have a tuck spot here. And you know what, that'll kind of hold that flap closed even. You know, if you don't want to put a closure on it, that would be really cute. And then you could pull that out and then open it up. And then inside, let's see, do I have something to put inside? We'll put something inside. Oh, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the sheet. And then we have that there. And then this closes like this. I didn't, I did not fold it the neatest. And if you want, you could put a closure on here. Um, let's let's do that. I'm gonna glue this card to one side like this. Just add glue to one side. Get it where you want it on the front. You could do more decorating. And then if we just do a, a Velcro dot on this flap, then we have a super duper easy closure. Super duper. All right, super duper easy closure. Whoa, let me put my little dots up so I don't lose them. They're very precious to me. Okay, so now we have the that, and then, Again, not to forget all the fabulousness we have going on. I'll use yet another piece of this map to remind me that I also did a pocket here, right? So I open it up, I have a pocket, I have actually the, the envelope pocket. I'm gonna use that to close that. And then these are gonna be great little, um, great, little places to journal, all right? And again, I'm just gonna kinda glue right across here. Make it look like a little, maybe torn piece of washi or the top of a little pad of paper. And again, if this was in a journal I was gonna make, I would add some pretty tea dyed paper or you know some lined um, journaling paper, something like that. All right, and of course, you know, you can always decorate the pocket with something. Oh, here's a little butterfly. Again, none of this is really necessary for my idea book, but I also think it helps sometimes to just see how little touches can really make the whole project look cute. All I'm doing is trimming out this butterfly, and again, I didn't do a great job, but it's okay. See? And add a little butterfly. All right. I hope that gave you some ideas 
um, for your book. All right, envelope, Ian. <laughs> we're gonna just start over. E-N-V-E-L-O-P-E -E, as a gatefold. All right. I'm happy. I could probably come up with some more ideas, but we're going to stop there because we've got one, two, maybe three, depending on how you cut that envelope in half, and then four, if you want to count that as two, we'll just count that as one idea, side or a top or bottom, so four, and then five ideas. So five plus ideas um, to make your journal look fabulous. And... Um, Honestly, like I say, when, once you start, I think, doing these ideas, I'm just going to glue something down on here, um, you know, it really starts making your journals look interesting and interactive and, and fun. And it gives you so many options for adding ephemera, extra places to journal, um, and to tuck tiny treasures. All right. I hope you guys like it. If so, please don't forget to subscribe so you know when I um, put out new content. Uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Interact with me. It makes me happy. Um, and I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time. See ya.